Now, are you on a low carb diet, but you're still hungry or craving or still have an appetite? There's seven reasons why this is. Uh, one of the reasons could be you're just in a habit of eating certain things or some social event. Uh, and that's so you're not really hungry, you're just in the habit of it. But if you actually are truly hungry, let's go through the list. Number one, you're not doing fasting with your low carb diet. If you're eating too frequently, you're going to trigger insulin every time you eat, and that alone is going to make you hungry. I find the majority of the population that starts keto without fasting does not see near the results. So include intermittent fasting. Number two, there's hidden carbs. You might be doing low carb, but if you really look at those carbs, maybe you're doing some yogurt, which actually has quite a bit of carbs. Or you might be consuming some keto-friendly uh, packaged foods or cookies or whatever, and there's carbs in there despite it saying it's keto-friendly. Number three, your dietary fat is too low. I think this one right here is really going to help you if you just start increasing the fat. Keto is not low fat. You want to increase the fat to satisfy you and also so you can fast longer. Number four, you're just not giving enough time. So you just did this for a week. Well, you could have insulin resistance, and that could take weeks before it really kicks in. You should start noticing some changes within even three days, but if you don't, give it a little bit more time, make sure you're doing it correctly, and it will work. Number five, your nutrients in your foods are too low. You're doing low carb, but the quality is not there. You're not doing enough, uh, and I always recommend like a huge salad or vegetables a day, that will give you some nutrients because if you're not and you're not taking supplements, you can be hungry just from that because the nutrients signal the hypothalamus in your brain to, to turn off that hunger. Number six, insulin resistance. Have more insulin and also your cells will not allow you to absorb nutrients, especially like vitamin D, vitamin C, potassium, magnesium. So you're not getting those nutrients in to satisfy the brain. So realize if you're doing low carb by the book and fasting and you're still hungry, this could be the thing, which means you need to give it more time. And there's a lot of other things you can do. I'll put a link down below. You could have a fatty liver or your gallbladder being removed or some problem with either the gallbladder or the liver and have not enough bile. And that means you're not extracting the fat-soluble nutrients that are very satisfying to your brain, or you're not getting the complete digestion of other things. Like there are even fat-soluble phytonutrients in, in plants that are very, very beneficial. So if you have enough bile, you're going to be more satisfied. Now, it's interesting. When I was researching this topic, I found this study that stated that a high-carb diet, low-fat, is more satisfying than a low-carb high fat diet. And I'm like, wait a second, let me just see what foods they're recommending. And so I listed them right here. Here we have a high carb, low fat diet compared to a low carb, high fat diet. Okay, so this is be more keto. And this would be like a standard diet, right? Well, I, I, I noticed that the, the foods that they were testing skim milk against whole milk. Both of them were doing cereal. <laughs> Both were doing white bread. But in this group here, they were doing a thicker white piece of white bread. Over here, they're doing a medium piece of white bread. Over here, it's egg. Over here, it's egg with margarine. Really? Over here, we have low-fat margarine versus butter. And then we have sugar on both. And then over here, we have low-fat pizza versus high-fat pizza. What is the problem? There's too many carbs in both of these diets to be able to do a correct study because, in truth, this low-carb study is not low-carb. And so this is what really gets me. This is why I drink on the weekends. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. But when you start putting out information in the news that is completely false based on incorrect information, like this, and sometimes people are going to believe that and then end up doing the wrong thing. All right, there you go. The seven reasons why you are still hungry on a low-carb diet. Hey, before you go real quick, 
I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.